I ruined my marriage and may have lost my husband forever. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe so you will never miss a video. So let's get started. I ruined my marriage and may have lost my husband forever. Hi. I, 31 female, and my husband, 32 male, have been together for five years. We have had our ups and downs in our marriage, and I have a bad spending habit. Husband has stuck with me and been there for me and is amazing. About three years ago, that started to change when he got a job offer in another state. We had to leave very quickly, and because of the timing, I had to leave my DD with her father. He's not an ex, just a fuck buddy who knocked me up. There's no feelings towards him. It was the hardest decision of my life, and I resented him for it. He didn't force me to go, but I didn't want to leave my only home where all my family was. But because I loved my husband, I did my wifely duty for his career. That year was hard. We moved away from family, had no friends or anyone near for support. I missed my family so much, and especially Didi. It wasn't what we expected. I became insanely depressed. I raised my daughter alone because her and dad didn't want anything to do with her until I went after him for child support. Didi and I are very close. I became very depressed, and that's where the problem started. I began getting lazy and not wanting to clean, not caring about cooking, and it put a bad strain on our relationship. We began fighting and he pushed me away. His job wasn't what we thought it would be, and the company treated him poorly. Because I was so miserable, we began talking it out on each other to the point where I almost left him. At one point, I did leave him emotionally, and we both became very sad and depressed. We had a huge fight, and he insisted I was mentally unstable. I got treatment and saw a doctor after him begging me for years to check my mental health. I finally did, and things seemed to get better. My family doesn't have much stock in mental health, even though it's bad in my family. He quit his job because our marriage was a turning rocky. He was taking out his anger with work on me and I began shutting down. I was hurt and upset and it all came to heat when he quit his job suddenly. It was taking a huge emotional toll on us and it was either the marriage or work and he chose to leave the job. I had realized at that moment that I did love him. I told him I love him and I wasn't going anywhere, that I support him. We returned back to my home state a year later and left almost everything we had, taking only our clothes, kids' toys, but left so much. To return to our home state, we stayed with his parents and I had become so sick with a bad bladder infection and I was just so depressed. I had been a horrible guest in his parents' home. Husband was without a job for three months, and I tried not to make him feel horrible, but he just told me that I did all the time since I was working. Husband finally gets a job, and we get our own place. This is where the problem gets worse. I was still sad, still suffering, and hurt, and I began spending our money and lying about it, and just being self-destructive. He wanted me to find a new doctor and see a therapist, but I couldn't. Not that I didn't want to and not to disrespect him, but because I grew up with the idea that mental health was all bullshit and in your head. I was a thought to get over it, and people out there have it worse, that there was nothing wrong with me. I do have a lot of trauma and have had some of it worked out, but not all of it. Hubby began spending more time involved in gaming, and I resented him more. I was spending our money and lying and not wanting to clean. I love cleaning. I'm a cleaner. My mother raised me that way, but I just couldn't do it. What was the point? 
We would fight, and I promised to change, and I would try to get better, and I would go see a doctor. I couldn't bring myself to do it until months later. I was finally getting on track, and things were going better. We would fight, and I have a temper. I also have been in a very abusive relationship in my past. Husband kind of knows, but I won't talk about it to him. It's important to know my husband would never physically hurt me. He loves me deeply, and when we would fight and I get upset, I would tell him I wanted to hurt him. At one point in our relationship, I pointed a knife at him and warned him to back off. I have told him I wanted to hurt him when I was upset. I was internalizing a lot of past trauma and I took it out on his man who had done nothing but love me. He would tell me I scared him and I never took him seriously because he is larger than me and physically much stronger. I made him feel unloved by not communicating. I know I'm a horrible communicator. We have said this many times as we both have completely different life experiences. Come January, it's gotten a little better. And then I found out he was sexting and sending nudes to someone online. It broke me. I confronted him and he didn't deny it and I sobbed. He said he didn't care if I found it. A part of him wanted me to. He had said he wanted to tell me. I had never cried harder in my entire life. I tried to forgive him and move on, but I felt so hurt. I wanted to separate for a while and breathe, but he didn't want that, so I forgave him and tired. He told me I made him feel lonely and I hurt him, and the pain I felt was how I made him feel all the time. Like a worthless piece of shit. I tried to forgive him, but I wanted space and he didn't want that. I spiraled down becoming more depressed and said to the point I wanted to end my own life. I felt worthless. His actions made me want to drive into oncoming traffic. I have nine relatives in the past five years that have killed themselves. Three of my cousins shot themselves in the head. My biggest fear was my husband finding our son covered in blood over my dead body. So I checked myself into a mental clinic. When I was able to talk to him, all he did was upset me on the phone. When he asked what I was doing there, I blew up. I told him he was the reason I was here. He was the reason I wanted to kill myself. His actions and what he did made me want to fucking die. It was bad I was yelling him on the phone and the nurses had to get me to come down. He didn't bother coming to see me. I know I blew up at him. I asked the doctor every day if I could see my husband. They told me he never responded. So I felt abandoned. I wanted to leave him when I got out but I ended up staying to try and work on myself. He was in full support. All my husband has ever asked of me is to take care of the kids and clean the house, cook, and work 40 hours a week. As long as it was 40 hours, it didn't matter how much I got paid. I couldn't clean, I hardly cooked, and I didn't pick up hours. I do in home care, so I am sent everywhere. The problem is I would get 4 to 6 hours a day most times, and... That wasn't enough, so I would only do the hours that work with our schedule. He would get upset and say I'm not trying, which I wasn't because the few time I asked, they wanted to send me almost an hour away across town and we didn't have the money for gas since we shared a vehicle. I would not clean or just sit and watch TV all day and spend time with our DS. We would fight and I would promise to try and get better and then... I just wouldn't, and I started shutting down. There would be moments when I would tell myself, stop, try, clean, cook, and I was would go to do it. I just felt nothing, like, why should it bother? I felt alone and unloved. I guess so did he. 
Last month, it all came to a head. I had horrible dreams all night and nightmares. Husband came in and I just heard looking at him. And I sighed. He asked what my problem was so I told him. I had a nightmare we got into a fight. He hit me and took our child and said I could never see him again. When I told him this is, he said that it was my problem. It was my dream and I had to deal with it. I got so upset. All I wanted was comfort. Just a babe? That was a bad dream. I'm not going to that. I blew up on him and it escalated to a screaming match. He threw my phone charger and I threw his. I told him I was tired of this. He doesn't care about me and I wanted to leave. I wanted space. I have been wanting to some space for a while and anytime I would tell him I wanted it, he would tell me I couldn't have my son. That he would shut off my phone and I wouldn't be able to see him. I started screaming and freaked out on him. I called him so many names, including a petty little bitch. Our son began crying because I was in hysterics. I wanted to go for a walk and take my son, but I was too upset so my husband wouldn't let me. I took that badly and started screaming. We both got so angry to the point I was screaming I wanted a divorce. He told me he had nightmares of me killing him in sleep. And I cried and told him that was horrible. I would never do that. He told me it was his dream, so it was his problem. I told him I was so sorry he dreams that and I would never hurt him. I love him. He brushed it off and I was so angry that he couldn't show me that compassion. I demanded a divorce several times. He said no. For the past few months, we had that I want a divorce fight And I wanted to deprecate. I used the word leave but separate. So he thought I wanted to leave him and take the baby. But I never explained what I was meaning. Since I grew up with my parents fighting and us leaving. So my parents could take time apart. I wanted time apart to breathe. And I just began holding all this resentment. I told him to take the house, take everything. I didn't care. I don't want it. He could have it. I just wanted to take my son and go. We screamed at each other. He threatened me and told me he would get a restraining order and because of my mental health issues and I would never see my son again. I began snobbing and broke down. I yelled asking him if he would really do that and I just stared at me. I reacted badly and I shoved him punching him twice in his large shoulders and shoved him and left out apartment to try and breathe. When I came back, he had locked me out and was on the phone with the police and I broke down more. He wouldn't let me hold my son and the police told me to go somewhere for the night and that my husband wasn't going to let me have my son. They couldn't make him give my son to me. I lost it. I grew up with my aunts and uncles, fist fighting and calling the cops on each other. I was hurt. He could do that to me and I cried and called a lawyer friend and told him what happened. He advised in a restraining order. Lawyer took me to the courts because my husband pulled my son from my arms and threatened to take my cell phone away and that I wouldn't see my son. So I went on the defensive. He had called the police on me and threatened me that I would never see my son again, so I did to him what he promised to do to me. It was hard. I had to drive almost two hours out of town to get my son from his parents' house because he asked them to look after him. After three weeks of no communication, it was hard because we have so many things together he wanted to talk and wanted me to drop the order. I didn't want to keep my son from him. He is an amazing father, so I dropped it and we talked. Kind of, he said, we couldn't talk until the order was dropped. He told me he wouldn't turn my phone off, that he needed some time to think. I told him I didn't want a divorce. I love him, but I don't think we should be together right now. 
We hurt each other deeply. He knows how I grew up with police and my family fist fights. And that's not how I want my children to be. I hurt him by getting an order of protection. I told him it looked like he called the cops on me and took my son. I told him I was defending myself. He said he planned to speak to me the next day after we cooled off. He didn't want us to fight like that and he planned for in-laws to keep Diaz for a week so we can work on it. I didn't know and went in defense and filed an order of protection. We talked and he said he wants a divorce, that I hurt him, and that he felt lonely and used and abused for years. I told him I don't want a divorce and that I want us to be apart for a while to work and think a bit he doesn't want that. He is done, he doesn't care about me, and that right now he doesn't love me and he doesn't care about me. It hurt. He told me I need to prove myself and work on myself, but I need to do it alone and he doesn't want to be connected to me. He said maybe divorce is wrong and that we will figure out later it was a mistake. I told him no, you're just trying to manipulate me again. I feel like he's always trying to manipulate me. I told him he's the one walking away that yes, I need to work on myself. Yes, I need to get my shit together, but that I wanted a separation. That's what a separation is for and when we can come back and see if we can work. He wants a divorce. I've been asking for one for years and he told me, no, he doesn't want to give up. I ruined our relationship, but so did he. Yet, all the blame is on me. I want to get my shit together, I want to work on myself, and I want to be away from him, while I do. I don't want a divorce, but I don't think we should be together right now. I love him, but I think it's over. If it was over, I wouldn't be in this pain much, right? I should have walked away in January, but I love him. I have an appointment with a therapist on Monday.